first report we presented today was the study from the Central European University by Dan uh, Ursatz, who have uh, studied uh, potential scenarios for energy consumption in buildings. What is really novel in this particular piece of work and unique is the enormously strong um, expertise base of GBPN. The report focused uh, first on the whole globe, but uh, we focused in detail on four particular regions, uh, the European Union, the United States, India and China. The main question was how far can the building sector take us in terms of mitigating climate change. There is a significant potential by 2050 building final energy use can be cut by about one third as compared to 2005 through very high performance uh, buildings. We've modeled the frozen efficiency scenario, a very good indication where we would be in the future if present efficiency levels in new buildings and retrofits uh, prevailed uh, in uh, the longer uh, future. We also modeled an in, in interim scenario, we called it the moderate uh, efficiency. So that scenario represents a, a rough picture of where would we be if present policy intentions were all implemented and implemented fully? How far buildings can contribute to mitigation goals if we push the efficiency lever as far as we can? The third scenario is what they call the, the deep scenario, where we try to achieve as much savings as it's uh, feasible to do. It is indeed possible to reduce building final heating and cooling and hot water energy use uh, by the middle of the century as compared to 2005 levels by approximately one third. In order to achieve a deep scenario fairly soon, we have to do three things at the same time. First, early action is crucial. Second, ambitious levels of energy performance levels in building codes. We would also need to accelerate the retrofit rates. Third, we need always a strategic thinking, even uh, with short-term actions and decisions. There is a very significant lock-in because buildings are a very long-lived infrastructure. Buildings have a long life. Therefore, buildings that we build today and the next couple of years and retrofit uh, in the same period will have impact on emissions for several decades to come. We are going to be about 80% away from where we could be if simply we had set more ambitious uh, levels in energy performance, which we know are technically and uh, economically feasible. We need to act quickly because climate change is not waiting for us. We need to rethink many things that we have been doing about building sector policies. It's very important to just put this on the table and, and re-evaluate many things that we are doing and planning. We should be seeing uh, within a year the adoption of more stringent codes which are on the path towards near zero energy buildings. We should be seeing an increased rate of renovation of buildings globally. We should be seeing um, more measurement and disclosure of actual building performance. And using the GBPN structure, we can take today's state of the art and making it standard by 2020.